Here is, you know, I like to show, I'm a big fan of Stephanie Rule, in case people don't know that, huge fan of Stephanie and her work, both on Wall Street <laughs> and with Chase Bank. She does Chase Chats, um, going after Bernie Sanders uh, with those pre-prepared graphics where she mm. had him on when he was pushing for the stimulus, and she said, but Senator Sanders, you only... You've sponsored however many hundreds of bills and only passed seven. And they had, like, the graphic because MSNBC was clearly sitting on that. Anyway, but uh, in this clip, she's not the star. She's kind of the supporting actor, but it's a very good clip, and it's of our good, good friend, Mayor Bloomberg, who, by the way, has a fake New York accent because he's from Boston. And if you think he sounds funny and non-New Yorker, he is. You're right. I did not know that. I did not yeah. know that. I didn't know yeah. he was a fake. He's a fake. Is that so, a cheer for the Red Sox? Probably. That's, let's see. So speaking of Democrats being absolutely atrocious on um, COVID, let's watch this great video. President Biden wants to open schools and he's already getting pushback. What's your take on that? Well, um, I think that what we're doing to poor kids is a disgrace. These poor kids are not in school. They will never recover from this and they had a bad education experience <laughs> anyway. We have arms. not I know. had good schools for poor kids, and this now is just so much worse. Um, the president has to stand up to the unions. The and teachers so. unions? Teachers, yes, the teachers right. unions. You know, the teachers say, well, I don't want to go back because it's dangerous. We have a lot of city and state and federal employees who run risks. That's part of the job. You run risks to help America to help your state, to help your city, to help your family. And uh, there's just no reason not to have the schools open. The uh, uh, virtual classes are a joke. It is worse than a joke. Uh, poor people don't have iPads. They don't have uh, Wi-Fi. They don't have somebody at home to sit during the day and force the child to pay attention. And without that, the virtual learning just does not exist. And the teachers unions you see in Chicago uh, and in New York, we've had problems. Uh, it's time for Joe Biden to stand up and say, the kids are the most important things, uh, and important uh, uh, players here. Players. And the teachers players. just are going to have to suck it up and stand up and provide an education. Otherwise, these kids have no chance whatsoever, Stephanie. It is a disaster what's happening to them. Okay. All right. First of all, asshole, if the schools are already bad, it's your fucking fault. You were mayor in New York for how many terms? Yeah. So, like, right. if poor kid, like he said, these poor kids, they're already getting a bad education. It's your fault. It's your fault. Like, yeah. What did you do <laughs> to improve the education system? I can't believe I can't believe the nerve of this man. I can't. Be, I I never understood why Hillary Clinton invited him into the good graces of the Democratic Party. He was just a Republican asshole. And he, I, 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 it's, it, it's so really bad. awful. Really That's awful. That's a big switcheroo. The Democrats are now the Republicans. That's why you saw Republicans, uh, you know, speaking at the Democratic National Convention. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah, that's yeah. the switcheroo. And the people, so many people aren't even aware of it. Good. And yes, and good point. I forgot about that. Uh, he took the schools away from the traditional school administration, the Board of Ed. Yeah, it, it turned into the Department of Ed. I'm not... Uh, who's a good Ed person? Got to have someone on to talk about uh, that. Kenzo uh, Shibata. Okay, got... Let's bring him on to talk about that. He is vile. I mean, honestly, like... Him saying kids are the th most important things, most important players. Like, he does not know like how to talk know about how people. To talk. <laughs> it's so funny. And he, like, catches himself saying things. He's like, whoops, uh, let's not call them things. Most important players. players. And they're such losers. I mean, he. I I'm just waiting for him to call them losers or something. Because, you know, it's such a lost cause, according to him. There's the These schools suck. So why even, why, that's the thing. Why send them there if they're so screwed? Yeah, if they're so bad. Like, At least why let them it? not die of COVID, right? Like, yeah. they're going to get not, they're not going to get a good education. It's such a racist thing that he's saying, right? Because clearly what he's saying is, like, these poor kids who we know from Joe Biden means, what, non-white kids. Uh, these poor kids, you know, they don't have the home support. Yeah. So we got to right. send them to schools. He goes, how about he goes first? How about he works as a lunch lady at one of these schools? 
wasn't one of the reasons that they were wanting the kids to go back to school is that a lot of kids didn't get a decent meal except when they went to school? I mean, you know, and this is what Joe Biden wants to return to, the normalcy. That's not normal. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's not that's not kind. That's not, you know, that's not even supporting and, the people who voted and, for you. 